today we are going to be mounting the new Topro from Red Arc. Red Arc has produced this uh, world first, we believe. Um, fully automated and manual uh, brake controller. So this brake controller has a three axis accelerometer which means it can be mounted on any surface at any angle and it sets itself up once you've done the first 100 meters it's going to calibrate itself and that's uh, we believe is a, a world first. Built in Australia okay and most importantly it complies with ADR so it's a, a great bit of kit to have in your vehicle and um, we're going to get on and start installing that one now. Okay, so we're at the back of the vehicle. Uh, what we've done is we've actually run a twin core 5mm cable through the bodywork of the vehicle so that we can actually pick up inside the vehicle on our uh, brake light feed, okay, and also the wire that goes down to the, the plug for the brake lights, oh, sorry, for the brakes on the, uh, the trailer. You could also uh, run one underneath in the, under the chassis, okay, and, and tee in to the exterior, okay, on your trailer loom comes from, from your factory loom inside the vehicle, we've just chosen to do that on the inside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sort the wires out, test them, make sure we've got continuity and um, then we'll uh, solder them in. So, um, we've soldered the wires in now, so you can see there we've, we've soldered them in, there's our cable coming from the uh, front there. Um, so all we need to do now is make sure that there's no sharp edges and they're taped up really really well so that they can't earth out or, or anything and uh, that part of the install is done and we just clip that back together okay um, we're in the front of the vehicle we want to find a suitable place to uh, to mount our controller remote okay so this has got a, a, a long remote on it so we can uh, get to the other side with the where the brake controller is going to be um, I'm actually going to basically put mine, I've got two choices, I can either put it on the switch panel on the right hand side but my knee's quite long and I sometimes knock that so I'm actually going to tuck mine out of the way in this uh, this plate here um, so I'm going to try and get that out, there we go, get that out so that plate there is going to be ideal for mounting this switch and that's what we're going to do next with uh, this, this brake controller. I've got my little switch panel here which I'm going to mount my uh, remote switch into and um, I want it dead centre here. Now on the back there, there's um, a round circle and that's going to fit nicely right in the centre. There's plenty of clearance there. If you've pulled out one of the plastic plugs out of your dash, you may find you've just got to clear some of the excess plastic away to give you a flat surface to, to work on, but this one's actually going to work uh, perfectly anyway. Okay, um, so I now need to drill a 10mm hole in the centre of this plug here. Uh, before we do, as Red Arc have pointed out in their instructions, uh, don't just go straight in with the 10mm uh, drill bits. You need to maybe uh, do a couple of smaller holes, pilot hole first, and then open it out till 10mm. Till and then what we're actually going to use is uh, use the actual uh, measurements here. You'll see there's 7.5mm uh, 7, 7 above that. We've got to drill another little hole for the light to shine through. Right, so we've drilled the hole. We've got the little plate on top. We're now going to assemble that so that you've got to locate that little LED. You can just about see that that LED is coming through there. And then we just put the nut down over the top and make sure that we locate that. We don't want to cross thread that, so just make sure you wind that on nice and gently. Your fingers first before we start tightening it up. Make sure it's all sat in there as it's meant to be. Okay, and then we can start tightening it up with a little spanner, which uh, we have here. So nice and gently, just. Sit that up there, nice, so that sits there, that's all nice, that's nice and firm, you can see the LEDs there, okay, that's all good. Then we can put the control knob on, so effectively we want to turn that dial all the way back down to zero there, and then we can align that like that, so the, uh, the dial matches the zero. Just routed the internet um, cable through back through the uh, dash here to, to my position where I want to put the switch, and it's running all through here. So if I pull that there, you can see it's uh, on the other side there. And uh, we're going to mount the controller over on the other side on the A pillar, um, just nicely out of the way where we've got all our other cables and everything coming through. We've routed the uh, cable from the uh, dash side of things through the firewall uh, to the battery. Uh, we've got the positive side here on our uh, battery terminal there, that's already connected up, that's all nice, and we've got the negative side here on the firewall. It's gone through the, the, the gland at the back here, okay, make sure when you put the cables through there, if that's the way you're going to do it, it's uh, in, uh, all, all sealed back up again, you don't want water transmitting down through that, um, that gland there, so just make a small hole, get the cables through. 
that's all tucked away and that side of things um, just ready to go. Still got the uh, earth side of the battery off so it's not all lived up yet, uh, but everything else is done. Cables coming from the uh, Tow Pro itself are marked with battery positive, battery negative, the brake output, and also if I can find it there, that's the on, in black, just about there, the brake light. Finished soldering now, so if you have a look, um, we've got all our joints soldered, they're nice and neat. Um, what we're going to do is put a little bit of insulation tape around each one of those, and then the heat shrink we've already pre installed on there will go over the top, and we'll just heat shrink that down, uh, and make a really nice job. What we're going to do now is we're just going to check to make sure all our connections are right. So um, we've got the black positive there to the battery, so that should have a permanent feed to it there. Okay, that's all good. It's uh, fed through the appropriate fuse. Um, we've got our negative. We've got our uh, power to our actual brakes itself at the back, and then we've got to test the brake lights for function, and, and that should all work. So if Joy puts his foot on the brake now, on, off. So we all know that's excellent, brilliant job. Everything's working now, we can now connect up. What we're going to use in this application is some industrial heavy duty double sided tape to mount it to a clean flat surface underneath there. It's really important that that is a secure fixing, okay, because if it comes off and dangles around it won't work, okay, so it's got to be f fixed securely. If I had any doubt that this stuff here wouldn't, wouldn't do the job, then I'll be mechanically fixing it uh, with screws uh, through those appropriate holes to a flat surface. Okay, there, so there we have it, it's all mounted in there, it's nice and secure, and if we try and pull that off, that's going nowhere. All the cables are routed nice and neatly so we can uh, get to everything, and uh, we're ready to put the rest of the dash back together. Thank you.